what's next? Oh, oh this I is my desk. I need a whole span. Some span. Of it. span. Right, I expect it's something fabulously amusing next. Yes, oh yes it is. Oh yes, my presentation. <coughs> it is, too, because here behind us you see pictures... Do we? Yes, of the three greatest chat show hosts of modern times. <laughs> Michael Parkinson, Terry Wogan and, of course, Terry Christian. But tonight we're lucky enough to have a snippet from a new chat show the BBC will be unveiling in their autumn schedules, which may overshadow them all. Ladies and gentlemen, it's simply, but I think rather brilliantly entitled, Fry. Uh, and now a bit of a departure for the show, with um, so many great stars from the entertainment world here tonight, I thought it might, excuse me, be uh, rather fun to have an international quiz. And representing Britain will be Sir Anthony Hopkins, <laughs> Kenneth <laughs> Branagh, Bob Hoskins and Michael <laughs> Kelly. While over here we have the American team, our lovely captain, the delicious, the delectable, simply gorgeous Goldie Horn. Um, we have the equally lovely Cher and the Oscar-winning producer and actor Michael Douglas. <laughs> and finally, Kevin Klein, who is completely psychotic about anyone <laughs> calling him stupid. <laughs> I think there's no <laughs> Uh, no. So, uh, moving right along to our first question, which goes, of course, to you, Goldie Horn. Um, are you happy with the rules so far, Goldie? Very, very, very happy. Which BBC <laughs> television star, Goldie, um, has the catchphrase, nice to see you, to see you nice? Let's say Bruce Willis. <laughs> so close, so close. The actual, on, on the card, the answer I've got is, is, is Bruce Forsyth, but I think you deserve, I think you deserve two points, uh, not least because you're so stunning looking. <laughs> I know, I think you know. <laughs> and now with a heavy heart, over to the British team. And the first question goes to Sir Anthony Hopkins. Um, Anthony, what is the name, the correct medical name, please, for the rare medical condition which makes people turn into impersonations of Catherine Hepburn for no apparent reason. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, I've got it. Yes, well, I'm sorry to get any points for being ill in this game. Now, moving back to our friends from America. Uh, Michael, Mickey Douglas, uh, the Doug. Uh, this is a tough one. <laughs> in one of their most famous films, Michael, Bob Hope and Bing Crosby spent a lot of time riding around on camels. Can you actually name the film in which uh, Bing Crosby and Bob Hope appeared. It was the road to... The road to... Mm, Mexico. Not <laughs> quite, not quite. It is a tough one, so have another yeah, tiny clue. The road to... Morocco. Is absolutely <laughs> right. Well done. Remarkable effort, if I may say. So was that a guess? Terribly good. So, back to the old British team. And Kenneth Branagh. Kenneth, no points on the board so far for Britain. Things are looking pretty grim, aren't they? Craggy, we're not through the we're not through the worst of it yet. You said it. <laughs> uh, now, your question is: in which film did Olivia Newton John, that's Olivia Newton John, of course, um, and John Travolta, John Travolta sing You're the One That I Want? It was in Greece. You haven't actually seen it, have you? I've seen it lots of times. Well, in that case, hardly seems a fair question. So even though you've got the answer right, I'm going to have to give you only one point for that, I think. Crikey. But if that's your attitude, Buster, I'll take that point away as well. So, with the score in America, five, and Britain, nil, it's back to America. Cher. My question is this. Who had a number one hit in Britain with matchstalk men and matchstalk cats and dogs? I'll give you a tiny little hint, I think. Uh, they sang in funny accents and wore rather old-fashioned clothes. The Rolling Stones. That's, that's close enough. Yes, absolutely. Two points. Now, over to the British team. Um, question for their captain here. Hello, my name is my old pal. <laughs> um, well, let's leave it for a tiny minute, shall we? Um, if I could pass this question over to you, in fact, I think uh, Bob Hoskins. Um, to the nearest foot, what is the height of Nelson's column? What do you think I am, a pigeon? It's all right. <laughs> Take it easy, just because you're losing. Such a thing as fair play, you know. Plenty of time to catch up. Oh, in fact, no, there isn't, because that noise tells us that our time is up. So with the final scores at America 7 and Britain 
Nil. I never win anything. Uh, yes, well, that's a <laughs> surprise now, is it, Michael? Anyway, it's time to say goodnight to Cher, Goldie, Michael Douglas, and Kevin, who didn't have a chance to answer a single question, of course, but who is completely psychotic about <laughs> him calling him stupid. And it's good night from the utterly defeated and humiliated British team. Sir Anthony Hopkins, who thinks he's Catherine Hepburn, <laughs> Kenneth Branagh, Crikey. Bob Hoskins, who are paranoid about being described as a pigeon, and not forgetting their team captain. Hello, my lady, my old family. <laughs> so, there you have it. Spill the hospitality and call famously to the night.